Welcome to this Fluency Workshop Series, Retention Strategies in Online Education. Ruth Bennett and Marie Fetzner will be facilitating this workshop. Marie and Ruth have both been involved with online teaching and learning for many years. Marie's dissertation work is related to retention of first-time learners and she has had much experience applying the research. Ruth has been working with teachers through the Learn NC program at UNC Chapel Hill to prepare them to teach online as well as teaching online. They hope to combine their experience with yours to produce a lively and satisfying workshop. Online student retention is an important topic for all of us and we look forward to exploring this issue with you. By the end of the workshop, it is our hope that you'll have great ideas for meeting some of your own and your institution's challenges. The three learning objectives for this workshop are listed here. These will form the basis of our discussions. For those who are pursuing a certificate of completion, there is a final assessment which is described here and in the course itself. The broad retention question for this workshop is, how do we retain students in online learning courses or programs so that they meet their learning objectives? The Sloan C five pillars will be used as the framework for responses to this question. We have a busy 10 days planned so we hope that you'll get started right away and be active participants. The readings will provide a good base for you, whether you're experienced or new to online teaching and learning. Each of the discussions focuses on one or more pillars, and you'll hear from your peers about best practices and needs in their institutions or organizations. When you join us for the live wrap-up session, the facilitators will do some polling and discuss issues such as the impact of fiscal cuts and where the focus should be in startup programs. You'll have the opportunity to raise issues that you feel need more discussion as well. For those of you who want a certificate of completion, this slide explains what is required. We hope that everyone will participate in the discussion regardless of your end goal. These Sloan C five pillars of quality are helpful for considering the key factors for retaining students in online learning programs and courses. We have listed two retention factors in each category. More will emerge as we review best practices and discuss your experiences and thoughts throughout the workshop. As you review the slides on best practices, as well as the full document on best practices located in the final assessment section of the workshop. Please think about the practices that your organization or institution uses and could use to keep students in its programs. We have listed just two best practices for each pillar. There are many more. Think about what you would add to this on the next few slides. How many of you teach for institutions where these two best practices are evident? If not, what do you think is the impact of not providing such integration and infrastructure? We will be discussing these and other scale issues shortly. A student in one of Marie's online facilitation classes sent this note to her. As you think about best practices for student satisfaction, and what you know about students' best and worst online experiences, McCord's words still ring true. As online facilitators, we have big work to keep our students satisfied and learning. As you think about what you might add to this slide, you might also want to think about how you could support these best practices regardless of your position or function. Again, we can all think of many more best practices. The first practice listed here may not be in our control, but the second one probably is for most of us. 
As we looked at the literature and discussed various programs with peers and workshop participants, we found that programs that seem to have difficulty are those that don't train their new online faculty or don't have faculty development that focuses specifically on the issues and learning needs of online faculty. So we decided to highlight this best practice. The second one is one that outstanding institutions already do and their faculty members note that is very motivating. As you prepare for discussions, please consider these questions. These vague starter questions should raise differences in opinions and perspectives, a great way to begin our dialogue. Let's get started. Marie and Ruth will be waiting to greet you in the workshop.